Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Line Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with your general reading for the week of September 18th through 24th. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't. For those of you liking and sharing the videos, thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I do hope that you all have the most amazing weekend and the most wonderful start to the week. I do want to thank all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here, for spending a little bit of time with me. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump in. We're going to see what is happening, coming in, going on for you this week in general. Aquarius, what you need to look out for, what you need to be kind of maybe paying attention to, right? All right, let's go ahead and see what needs to come out. Oh, that's a lot of cards, but we're taking them. Oh, interesting. Okay. You've got your hard work is paying off. Surrender to the divine. Adjustments are required. A fiery climax approaches. So we're not even all the way on our little thing here, Aquarius. Okay. So let's find out a little bit more. What else needs to come through here? Wow. Wow. Oh, isn't it interesting how these fly out? Wands energy. So there's a lot of passion coming through this week. What else? What else? What else? Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck is what you don't see coming, and you have the Six of Pentacles. So there is going to be this energy this week, what you don't see coming. So pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, okay? Listen carefully, Aquarius. There is going to be this energy or potential for kind of a balancing out, a financial balancing out, um, a balancing out within potential security, for some generosity to come in, for justice, for fairness, okay, depending on how this comes through. Now, if we look at this Aquarius, you see there are the scales. This person is holding the scales, so it's like they're balancing um, that potential between lack and abundance, okay? That is what Spirit is putting through here. So there is a balancing out. There is this energy of generosity. There is this energy of stability. But Aquarius, if you pay attention, if you look in this card, now this is what Spirit is showing me for this reading for you. There is one person that is receiving and the other has the scales above. Okay? I know this is like an epiphany coming through with this for me, uh, hopefully for you as well. So somebody is going to be receiving generosity. There's going to be um, kind of an outpouring of generosity, potentially in, in the form of financial assistance or um, um, maybe a an offering, something like that. But on the other side, there is that balancing of the scale. So um, kind of that security coming in and or wise advice, Aquarius. So this is coming through with this energy this week, Aquarius, that depending on what it is, there is a potential for kind of this major shift of sorts to come through, okay, for justice, for fairness, for this energy of almost, um, almost kind of resetting, if that makes sense, resetting the landscape or the tapestry of your life. This is interesting, of course. This is going to be major. It's almost as if something comes through or some form of generosity or some form of balance, however that may be as far as security, stability, financially, whatever, charity of sorts, whatever it may be, um, justice, fairness, whatever Aquarius for you specifically, but there's like this aha, this light bulb, this epiphany moment coming through with that. And it's very major. It's like all of a sudden you see between the lines, if that makes sense. Okay. This is what you don't see coming. So pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. All right. 
<clears throat> now you also have your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn with the eight of wands. So some of you have really been doing a lot of work. This could be on yourself. This could be in relationships. This could be in business. This could be in any way, shape or form. But some of you with that eight of wands are going to be receiving some form of communication about it. It could be a prospect. It could be a deal. It could be a contract. It could be anything, whatever. But either way, Aquarius, this is happening very quickly. There's a lot of momentum. There's a lot of speed um, within the progress of this. So whatever it is that you've been working on, you are going to be receiving a big payoff. Okay. That could be where that, uh, what you don't see coming, that six of pentacles coming through is, but there's a big payoff, but there's also communication. Okay. So for some of you, this is going to be kind of that shift again, right? That you have been waiting for. It's almost like the good news comes through and you're like, dang, yes, I knew it. I knew it. There was no way it couldn't be. I've willed this to be my hard work. I've taken action. I've done all the things. There was nothing else that could happen because it, it had to happen. There was no other way. Okay. Beautiful energy coming through for you this week, Aquarius. Then next you have Sir uh, surrender to the divine full moon. Aren't these gorgeous cards? I just love these ones with the nine of wands. Yes, yes, and yes, Aquarius. Surrender to the divine. So you see, some of you have been very defensive with that nine of wands energy. Some of you have really been um, in this place of um, kind of being hyper vigilant to right to say the least and spirit is like you know what it's time to surrender it's time to put those past struggles to rest of christ it's time to let it go surrender to the divine let what is be what was go and let's look towards that future okay let's look towards what it is that you are calling in what it is that you are manifesting what we are here to bring in together now isn't it interesting that you have the eight to the nine of wands. Okay. So this is definitely progress, that momentum, that movement. Okay. So you're defending to, um, you're defending the communication, you're defending the progress, you're defending what it is that you have worked so hard for, but spirit is like surrender to the divine here, Aquarius. Let this be, let those past struggles go. You don't have to be so defensive anymore. You don't have to really, um, be in that protection mode. Yes. Have your boundaries, but know that what is meant to be will always be. And this is coming through. You've worked hard. You have have um, really placed yourself in this place of balancing out or that generosity or that justice and fairness for all that you have done, the struggles that you have done, what you have sacrificed to Christ. This is coming in for you because you were willing, okay? Because you were willing to give, to do, to be as much as you have. Okay. Now the next card you have is adjustments are required, third quarter moon, and that is with the hanged man. So some of you interesting enough, are in this place where you may actually need to make a few adjustments within this, right? It may be those adjustments as far as being a bit defensive or being a bit, a bit protective or over vigilant. Some of you may feel like whatever this is that's coming through for you, Aquarius, is kind of, um, well, what I'm getting is, is, um, that's, imposter syndrome. Does that sound right? Yeah. Some of you may feel as if you are kind of in this imposter syndrome place, but spirit is saying, let that go, right? Pause, trust, and move into that new perspective. Move into this shift that is coming through. Let yourself adjust. That's going to be required for many of you. For many of you, this is happening so quickly with that eight of wands. This communication is coming through. It's like you've worked, worked, worked. You've slugged away. You've sacrificed. You've done all the things for so long. And then all of a sudden it's like snap, snap, snap. Here it is. Yay. And for some of you, it's going to take that moment to adjust. Okay. You're going to have to like take a step back and be like, oh, this is what I pray for. This is what I've been calling in. This is what I've been working my ass off for all this time that I've been struggling or I've been sacrificing or I write and, and now it's here. And oh my gosh, is this real? Um, right. That imposter syndrome coming through here, Aquarius and spirit is saying, yes, but you're having this huge major epiphany with this as well, Aquarius, where you're like, ah, Okay, finally, the good news, this uh, manifestation, this is, it's all here because this is what I asked for. This is what I required. This is what I worked for. This is right all, all the way through the whole thing. And, and 
trust the adjustments will be right they will be they are required uh, because this is going to be kind of this almost quantum leap energy and you're going to be like ah wow i did this i did this okay beautiful energy here aquarius and let's go ahead and see what we have here a fiery climax approaches well we know that because the majority of this is wands right we have wands energy and that hanged man energy is the energy of pisces so we've got water um we've got pentacles uh and we are water we've got, <laughs> we've got cups kind of hangman is kind of in that cups energy with the pisces um pentacles and the wands now i would consider full moon and aries a wand so you've got the majority of wands at least showing now we have these four cards here as well but this is this is this is coming in full swing like a major major aquarius right you've got this climax approaching and of course of course it has to be approaching right now you've got the eight of swords interesting so we've got eight showing up here you've got eight of swords so you've got eights um coming through you've got the fool you've got the four of cups and you've got the tower and actually that is not how it came out it came out this way but when i laid them down i flipped them around it doesn't matter either way because it still comes out but wow that is a lot right the eight of swords the tower the four of cups and the fool all of this is happening aquarius this shakeup dang this shakeup it's like this damn shakeup is here with that tower energy to get you out of that eight of swords energy if that makes sense some of you are in this paralysis like oh my gosh right with that adjustment this fiery climax this is all coming so fast and now i'm in that imposter syndrome right that eight of swords we already talked about that that imposter syndrome that energy of oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm paralyzed by fear this is already here but the shakeup is here aquarius this damn shakeup is here to get you out of um that space or that place that potential rut with that four of cups that energy of kind of being in apathy or bored or like contemplating if this is really true or if this is what you really want right we this is that adjustment period this is that space that place of course where we can get into and we can talk ourselves out of things don't allow that to happen this dang shake up this tower energy is here to cause chaos to cause that energy of um influx is the word coming through here interesting enough this epiphany energy aquarius this major shift so that you can start in this new direction you have been working for this you it's almost as if you were doing the side hustle for a long 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 ass time and now it's here and you're like oh wow mm, do i really want this i'm getting like five or six years in the making or more here of course and now you're like oh i'm paralyzed is this real do i really want this yes this shake up is here to get you out of that energy of potential boredom or just doing the day-to-day -day and get you into this new energy this fiery climax is here aquarius all this passion all of this um wands energy fire energy is here aquarius because you need that fire lit in your bum again or on water under your bum whatever that sounded really weird let's just delete 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 let's scratch that you need this to come through aquarius so that you are feeling alive again take that leap of faith you've been working hard towards all of this and this this what you don't see coming with that six of pentacles that balancing out that that fairness that justice for some of you you're like damn i've worked all my life and nothing is happening nothing is changing and then all of a sudden shoo, within the, the blink of an eye the stuff that you have been sacrificing for struggling for um kind of even being left out or being a lone wolf for some of you right um that you have allowed or, or created for yourself to be to work to do to write um it's all coming through in the blink of an eye in that moment when you didn't think it was that leap of faith that energy of new beginning is here aquarius and it's coming with this fiery climate it's coming so fast so fast and this is going to be a major epiphany for many of you aquarius because you you have been going through this process and then all of a sudden it's like right there and you're like oh my gosh i've been seeing the signs maybe people have been saying things or maybe you've been overhearing things or maybe things have been showing up or little trickles here and there or what have you and then all of a sudden it's like bam right there in your face and you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh i did this i created this i i right i i allowed this i opened the space for this i 
I can and I, I, I did, right? I can and I did. That's almost like this energy of being over whelmed but in the most beautiful positive way it's like you you did it of course it's coming through it's happening it's come to life all because you had the audacity you had the audacity Aquarius to not give up oh my gosh that's beautiful beautiful oh well there it is abundance 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 you have greatness and abundance the bison and the elephant Aquarius. So we're going to close out with these two Oracle cards. Abundance. So abundance is coming in all because, again, you had the audacity to never quit. This epiphany, this major shift, all of this beautiful energy, this fiery climax, this um, hard work paying off, this balancing out, this justice, this generosity, all is because you had the audacity, Aquarius, the audacity to never give up, to keep going, to know that you could do it. Okay. You have the audacity. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Sacred Buffalo cloak me in your wisdom. Isn't that interesting? Because isn't the elephant one as well? So there's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of, um, this energy coming through with this bison and this elephant of, um, past learned knowledge that's being handed down as well. Of course, I'll pay attention to that. Pay attention to your dreams during this time. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. So see, ooh, show all the gratitude, Aquarius. And some of you prayed, prayed, prayed for this. And now that it's here, you're like, oh man, am I sure? Yes, spirit wouldn't have brought it through for you, Aquarius, if spirit wasn't sure that you could have it. Handle it, do it, okay? Because you can. And the elephant, love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. So see, you've got double wisdom with both of these, which we just talked about briefly. Um, your wisdom, ins wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Do you see? Fill my life with goodness. Keep the storms right. Cloak me in your wisdom. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. Aquarius, take this to heart, okay? Have the audacity. And continue. It's because you have the audacity that this comes through, this major epiphany, Aquarius, this major happenstance, this major generosity, this hard work paying off, this communication. However this shines through or comes through for you, Aquarius, this shakeup is happening because this wisdom is within you and you have the audacity to be great. You have the audacity to be great, Aquarius. That greatness is within you. That abundance comes because of that powerful all right i do intend this resonated with you and for you if it did please do hit the like button and share this video it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise also feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time i upload new readings it is free for you to subscribe to the youtube channel and it does support the lucky stars community in growing and thriving as always i do wish you lots of hope lots of joy and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors i'll see you in the next reading